Hi friends, Simon here from InformedTrades.com. In this video, I want to talk about the Elder Force Index, an indicator that we can use in our trading. So let's get started. Okay, key points. The indicator was developed by Alexander Elder, a famous trader we've talked about him a fair amount on Informed Trades. He's the author of the book Trading for a Living, as well as a number of other books. Trading for the Living is probably his most famous. The math behind the indicator is to take the latest close price, subtract from it the previous close price, and multiply that number by today's volume, or the most recent volume. So really, it's a supply-demand indicator. It's a way of gauging the amount of strength behind a move. So if there's a big move in price on a lot of volume, it's really going to show up on the force index. Um, we, when it comes to actually applying it, what we want to do is apply uh, exponential moving average to that uh, mathematical formula. We'll look at the 2 EMA and the 13 EMA. Uh, when the 13 EMA is above the zero line, when it's positive, we want to be buying. When the 13 EMA is negative, we want to be selling. However, we want to look, do that. We want to place the order when the 2 EMA is the opposite. So if you see the 13 EMA positive, the 2 EMA negative, you want to be buying. If the 13 EMA is negative and the 2 EMA is positive, you want to be selling. That's the traditional application. Personally, I don't get that much value out of it. But that's the conventional way of using the indicator. There's also the ability to use it as a divergence tool. So when you see price forming a new high, but force index does not, or price forming a new low, but force index does not, it can be a sign that a trend is uh, coming to its conclusion. Let's take a look at a chart. This is a chart of SPY, ETF tracking the S&P 500. Uh, it's an hourly chart here, and we see uh, EFI is set to a period of 13. So when this uh, is above the zero line, the zero line is this dashed gray line here, that's when we want to be buying. We're in the buying uh, area. When it's below the line, we want to be looking to sell. Um, however, as I mentioned, we want to be look at the two EMA as well. So we just go here, make that two. Okay. And so here what we really want to do is when we're above the zero line, we want to look to sell if the 13 EMA is below. And we want to look to buy here if the 13 EMA is above. Personally, I haven't found this to be very useful. I found uh, not that many signals looking at the 2 and the 13 EMA, looking for that uh, difference, you know, fade the 2 in the direction of 13. And even when it has given me a signal, I haven't found them to be that valid. Um, so I personally don't like this that much. However, you know, it depends on, I'm sure, what market, what time frame, what other indicators or tools you're using. That's a conventional approach. What I've had a bit more success with, or gotten value out of is looking at the uh, as a divergence tool. Um, so here's an example. You know, price. Uh, we see this big move up here, and we see it on a lot of volume, which is going to send the EFI exploding higher. And then price continues to trail a bit higher. And right here, we see price forms a new high. You know, clearly higher than previous uh, candles. However, EFI does not. You scroll down here. You see EFI. Uh, you know, did not form a new high, actually trailed a bit lower when price went that high. So that's a sign of divergence, that's a sign the trend may be coming to an end, confirming that as we have a red candle here. So not only was do we have divergence after a new high, but the can candle did not even close bullish. Uh, so that's some signs that the trend may be coming to an end. You know, you could uh, either take profits or you could put on a short position if you were a little more aggressive, perhaps looking at some other indicators to confirm. Uh, and sure enough, price, price falls. So that's a, that's a basic idea of how it can be used as a divergence tool. You know, there are obviously lots of other divergence tools out there. This is one that incorporates volume, price and volume, so it may be of interest to some traders for that reason. Of course, there's also the, the way of using it, uh, fading the 2 EMA, trading the direction of the 13 EMA that we talked about a bit earlier. If you have any questions, anything you want to add about the Force Index, join us on informedtrades.com. Thanks and best of luck in your trading.